Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today in GraphQL chapter, we are going to talk about how to parameterize your query because this is something very important. Last time, what exactly we have seen so far that, for example, let's say this is a user that you want to check for ID and name. And I want to give a limit of a 10 and then you hit this particular query. You are getting around 10 results over here, right? But what if I want to get a specific user information and uh, I want to parameterize this limit also what if uh, I want to uh, take a to do's where title is equal to this. So for the same thing, they have given one query variable option over here, right? So what you can do is that on top of that, you can create one a query a type that you can write it and then simple write a variable over here. Let's see my variable name is a limit variable. So dollar limit means dollar is a, a variable and limit is a variable name and uh, simple write int what is the type of the variable that you want to use that and same dollar limit you can use it over here okay and this limit that you have to pass it from where this limit you have to uh, pass it from here so you can create one json along with that so simple let's see my limit i'm passing limit which is a uh, 10 over here like that now same limit you have to use it over here fine so let's see this is saying variable limit does not appear in graphql so uh, we have to start the query starting bracket and ending bracket over here like that. So error is gone. It means the limit value I'm passing from here 10 and 10 is what integer type and same dollar limit that I'm giving over here as well. Fine. So let's run this and let's see I'm getting it or not. So now I'll be getting 10 results from here. Then I can manipulate the data. Let's say I want only two results. Limit is two. So we should get only two results over here like that. You can see in the uh, users array we are getting only two results like that. So this is called query variable, same query variable when you hit, uh, when you use in your postman, for example, see, this is my body and I go to my GraphQL over here and uh, this is my post request. This is the URL that I'm using it. Copy this particular query over here. Now same GraphQL variable you will be seeing in your postman also. So what you can do, whatever the variables that you want to use, you can simply pass it over here like that. And when you send the request, in the postman also, you will be getting the same response here. See two results, we are getting it over here. Fine. Let's take one more example. Let's take better example. Let me remove the users from here. Let's say I want to capture the to-dos and uh, in the to-dos, uh, what I want, I simply select a where and I say that where title is equal to something. So this title, which is actually coming from the query variable that I want. And I want uh, that okay, limit should be 10. Put a comma and then I'll add one more query variable over here. For example, let's see title. Whatever the name of the variable that you want to give. And let's see, I'm looking for a title where the title value is equal to new test. This new test title is already available actually. Then from the to-dos list, what I want. From the to-dos list, you just give me the title and the ID okay, values. And then you put a comma over here because I want to use one more parameter and the parameter name variable name is a title. So put a dollar like this and then you have to tell what is the type of this title. The type of this title is a string over here and not not means it cannot be nullable. It cannot be null. So in this case, this a dollar title, you have to use it over here. It means title should be equal to what? This title should be equal to this, right? So the error is gone from here, but error is still showing that is never being used. Then why have you uh, declared the variable? So in this case, I can use a limit variable also. So I can just simple select limit over here. See limit and what is the value of limit? The dollar limit over here and the value which is we are passing from here. So I simple write dollar limit. So this is a query got created. Now see this query, such a nice uh, query that we have a uh, simple query that we have created a query. I'm passing two variables limit and title limit is an integer and a string this title is a string limit and title i'm passing it from here and this is the uh, query type which is the to do's type where title is equal to this title that we are passing from here it could be any title name and limit is equal to 10 we are passing it over here so this is a supporting uh, json this is a json format guys and this is the uh, query format and when you run it let's see i'm getting only one result because we have only one title over here like that same query if you hit in your uh, postman also, you come over here and then in postman and then what is the extra parameter we have to add? Let's see title new test. 
So let me just copy this entire paste entire thing over here and let's run it. So when you see that, okay, yeah, title new test and ID is equal to 571, we are getting it. So when you try to automate that, this integer or a string, these are the parameters, comma separated parameters. This is just like a function over here. You can say you can read as a function passing two parameters. Parameter values are coming from this GraphQL variables. These are called GraphQL variables. And then the same uh, title parameter or uh, this uh, limit parameter, you can use it over here in your query. And then you can certainly you can get the result like that. Fine. When you use in your rest assured or uh, some other client uh, through automation that you are doing it, you can parameterize, you can get the value from your Excel file or maybe some uh, you can hard code the value or you can pass the value, uh, you know, parameterize using a for loop and everything for multiple uh, strings. You can check it back to back like that. OK, so this is what we can do that. For example, let's say if I'm asking uh, simple new for title new, do we have any value? See, for title new, we have two titles are available, title new and title new like that. So you can pass a parameter and then use it in your postman also. So that's why postman has enhanced this feature. They have given GraphQL and they have given this option as well over here like that. I hope it's clear. Very simple chapter. Please try it and uh, let me know if you have any issues with that. Thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you're learning GraphQL from this particular uh, series and uh, share with others. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.